I'm Tony Papa from Pro Media Gear. In this instructional video, I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to assemble our Profoto B2 cage, the BLPB2. This aluminum CNC cage is manufactured at our facility outside of Chicago, Illinois. It features some really neat stuff, such as a cable management system, a 5 8 light spigot, and multiple quarter 20s that allow you to put things on, such as this ball stud. The cage goes together pretty easy takes the unit out of the bag, mounts right on it directly, gives you convenient access to the B2 battery, as well as looks stylish, and is extremely functional. Let me show you how it goes together. All right, as you can see, I removed the cage from my B2 pack and laid out the components on the table. You're gonna receive a side, a side with a handle. You're gonna get eight screws. These screws are real tiny guys, and they're gonna be used on the top in the middle all the way around the pack. You're also going to receive four longer screws. When I mean longer, I mean like they're tiny. They're going to go on the bottom. You're also going to receive two sides. They're symmetrical as well as a stainless steel spigot. Two small screws that are going to attach that as well as the Allen key. Two cable management systems as well as the two bolts and the Allen key for that. You're also going to receive one quarter twenty sphere. Let's go ahead and get started. First, what you're going to want to do is grab one of the sides. You're going to locate like a little shelf. This shelf is actually what's going to land and sit on top of the pack. So that's going to be the top. Next, go ahead and take one of the sides. And as you can see, there's like a little channel in there. Just going to lay them in there. Hold them together with your fingers. Next, taking one of the real small T8 Torx screws. Go ahead and lay it on top. Go ahead and get that started in there. I like to just put one in and then move on to the next section. You're going to want to leave these a little loose too. Once you put it on, you're going to drop it on top, move it around, get it nice and snug, and then tighten all of them up. Next, before you get too carried away, you're going to want to install the stainless steel light spigot. It has to be installed from the inside, so you can't do it after you put it on the pack. Go ahead and locate the two little holes that are drilled and machined into the side. You're going to put it on either side that you prefer. Taking one of the screws. For this, you want to go ahead and tighten down snugly. Once you put it on the pack, you're not able to retighten it or adjust it without removing the entire cage. Next, like I said, with the screws a little loose, you've only got the two sides on and the one side here. You can kind of wiggle it down on top of the uh, rubber on top of the B2, slide it on down, and then the top rim is going to go ahead and catch on the side here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take the other screws and go ahead and put them on. Next, 
and take the remaining side, go ahead and put it on up there, line up the holes, put in the screws. Next, go ahead and take the longer screws, you're going to put them in the bottom on both sides. To get the holes lined up, the reason before I left it a little loose is you have the ability to move the cage and kind of uh, massage it in the place if you will. still putting them in slightly less than snug. When we're all done and everything's in place, I'll go back around it and tighten everything up. Great. Now I'll go ahead and tighten it down snug all the way around. Don't need to go crazy, don't strip the screws, but they should be firm. Alright, that's it successfully installed the cage onto the B2. It's on there snug. You can carry it. Put your current strap that came with the B2 right on here. And go ahead and it just takes it out of the bag. Looks great. It gives you quick and easy access to the battery. The added accessories such as the spigot here are great to go ahead and install one of the lights, use it as a kicker light or background light, or you can actually put it there, put the whole unit in your closet for storage everything's convenient and tight. The other accessory here that we can install, and it's optional if you want to put it on or not, is the cable management system. This cable management system is just going to go ahead and bolt on like this on both sides and give you the ability to go ahead and rack your cords around it and keep them out of the way if you're going to have it either on your side or maybe just hanging from a light stand. You just want it to be uh, better cable management out of the way so you don't have any tripping hazards. To put that in, it's real easy. You take the larger Allen key bolt, and it's going to drop right into the hole here. And go ahead and locate the locator pin. It's going to fit inside the shaft here. The bolt's going to go in here. Now this unit's symmetrical, so if you choose to have the handle on one side, cable management on the other, that's fine. You'd rather have cable management handle on the same side. Very modular. Go ahead and put that in. Do the same for the other one. It's going to go on this side here. I'm just going to line up the hole here. Excuse me. Tighten it down, and I'm done. Now you've got the ability to go ahead and wrap your cables on it. I've seen people lay it over small railings and use these as ears to hold it. You've got your handle here. Now last but not least, we've got an accessory here for this quarter 20 eyelet. 
We make a couple accessories, but the one that comes with it is this ball. This quarter 20 ball, it's just gonna get screwed in. And it works with our holster. Now you're gonna have the ability to go ahead, go ahead and hang the B2 pack from the holster and use one of our other accessories, such as the boomerang flash bracket. Mount the B2 above your camera and shoot, tether to your pack, be totally portable and mobile. That's it. You're going to be mobile with your B2s and your pro photo equipment. Go ahead and get shooting and check out our other accessories at promediagear.com.